I know the lighting's a little weird right now, but the sun is out and it's just insanely bright and I don't want to close it because then it's dark and depressing. I had a really difficult time getting up today. I don't know why, which is actually surprising because I was, all of you guys, my whole subscriber base, I think I have like 20% of you guys are like in the UK and stuff. I have no idea what the temperature is like across the United States and Canada, some people in Germany, Australia, all you guys out there. I have no idea what the weather is like out there. But out here in New Jersey on the East coast of the United States, it hasn't actually been hot out here for a good amount of time, obviously because it was winter. Out here in New Jersey, you could go like 10 degrees under in winter around the coldest. I think the hottest it's ever been around here is like 115 degrees or something crazy like that. Today is only 80 degrees, okay? And in comparison to 120 degrees, yeah, this is nothing. But see, after you're used to the winter and everything being like 40, 50 degrees, once it's all spring and everything, got the spring temperature in there and it's just like, a, you know, 40, 50, 60 degrees, sometimes 70, nice 70s. I woke up this morning in a puddle, a puddle of sweat. I was sleeping with Satan himself. It's so disgustingly hot for no reason. 80 degrees should not be making me sweat this bad. It's like my body got so used. Oh my God, it's so hot. It's like my body got so used to the nice cool weather that now any type of change is so extreme. I'm just profusely sweating. I'm disgusting. I feel like a fish. I feel like a female that just got done watching 50 Shades of Grey. I'm so moist. Why is it so dark in here? Why is it so dark? What the fuck? Let there be light. See, as a pretty hairy guy, I'm gonna speak for every guy out there. All of us guys know that most girls are normally very cold. They're always talking about how cold they are. And I mean, it's for good reason because they're just constantly shaving themselves. Not a fucking hair on their body besides their head. So no wonder they're cold, even in the summer. But see, the thing is for most guys, we ain't really shaving much. And you know, you know, I do a bit of grooming. You know, you can't let the chest hair get too crazy. Stomach hair and stuff. See, I wish a lot of our bodies worked a lot like most dogs do. Shed during certain times and stuff, just for convenience. I wish as a man, I could shed to be completely fucking hairless in the summer. Except for my face, of course, I want to keep this. And then in the winter, just, you know, the usual, just pack that hair on. Speaking of dogs, I know exactly what dogs I want when I get my own house. I want a little Yorkie and I want a Newfoundland. One is a cute little small dog and another one is a... is not six feet tall. Yorkie is a cute little small dog. And then a Newfoundland is the gentle giant dog. And by giant dog, I mean like big dog. I want the best of both worlds. I did a lot of research for where I live with how the weather is and everything. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. I can see it now. As soon as I get either of these dogs, I'm just going to lift this dog up and put it in every single one of my thumbnails. How could you deny such a face? Similar to how I talked about it before, got a whole bunch of YouTubers using their girlfriend's reviews, showing their boobs and asses and shit. Me, I'm gonna just put my puppy in the thumbnail. Easy. I mean, since I'm lacking in this whole uh, boobs department, I'll make up for it and cuteness. You can see now that little tiny dog and a really big dog. The really big dog protects a little tiny dog. Oh my heart, I'm such a pussy. It's still the number one thing I would move out for, a dog, 100%. Every time I go over to this puppy barn, I contemplate just buying it and just telling my grandparents to deal with it. But I can't do that to them. I can't let them get attached to another dog. After my last dog died, you know, years and years ago, they could just never really do another dog ever. My room is so orange. Why? Why is my room so orange? Take my dog for a little walk and 100% you can't tell me that walking around with a dog will not attract more females. If somebody has a dog, male or female, and they're walking with it, they will have somebody speak to them at least once. I know every single time I see somebody walking their cute ass dog, I'm gonna stop them and be like, can I please pet your dog? I know we're complete strangers. This is basically your family member. I'll never ask another man if I could pet his wife, but I'll sure as fuck ask him if I could pet his dog. I have to. You can't deny it. I just want to be able to sit here so me and my Yorkie could just like lay around and shit. I could just sit on my lap the entire time, and then when he has to go outside and get up, let him outside. I can imagine it. I'll be laying on my bed and the dog walks into the side, it's too small to jump up there and it starts whining and stuff asking to come up. Gotta pick their little ass up and set them on the bed. <laughs> oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Oh, I'm such a little bitch right now. No fucking sense. Okay. 